Golden Knight Super XL Auto. I, uh, I'm going to get straight into tuning it, hopefully. We'll see here in a second. I was warming it up and it just died. So we might be a little lean on the low, but we'll get straight into tuning it and let's see what happens. It's lean. I can't get it to pull enough fuel at all. But it's it's a little lean. I can't get it to four stroke on when I lift. So maybe we got a carb issue. I don't know. We'll have to uh, tear into the carburetor and see what we find out. But I just can't get it to go rich enough. That's good, but it's it's lean. And I don't wanna cause damage, you know? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off until I can figure this one out. Maybe we'll go with a different carb. Something a little bigger, maybe. She's lean again. I fixed, I definitely fixed a leak issue at the intake, but that wasn't enough. It's still running lean. I think, I think it might be a carburetor issue. Now, I will say this is not the original carburetor for this saw. It is not. 
So maybe the carburetor on here is a it's a Tillotson, is it Tillotson or Tillotson style? Is it branded highlight? Yeah, it's a Tillotson. It's not the original carburetor for certain. So I'm wondering if it's the carburetor might be from a different saw that wasn't built as big. You know what I mean? It's quite possible. But I can tell you it's definitely not the original carburetor for the saw. Even the uh, the jets, the high and low jets, they're uh, they stick out a little further than all my other ones. So that that's another thing that kind of kind of clue that tells me this carburetor may not you know, is not original. So maybe we'll put a Zamo on it. I have a couple of those. I think I even got a rebuild kit for one. I might. I don't know. Maybe that's what's causing our issues. It's definitely not the right carburetor for this saw. Well, by the time I'm ready to run this saw again, the one that I'm porting might be ready to go. So... I'm going to need the reeds for the other saw. So I might have to put the factory reeds back in this. We might just put a Zama carburetor in it, put a, the factory reeds in it, then give it another go. Because that might clean up our issues. I think it's a carburetor problem. It's definitely not the original one. I can't see the numbers on it to tell, but I know it's definitely been replaced down the line. I wonder if the carburetor was pulled off of something like 40 cc's and put on this saw. You know what I mean? I wonder if somebody did that. Is it definitely not pulling on a fuel? We'll have to investigate, you know? But that's it for today. And uh, we'll give it another go next time. Alrighty. Till next time. Later.